Uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Chuck Terry again. Once again, I'm going to show you an, another example of outlining a patch or an object. Uh, this is the third patch uh, uh, request for uh, from a customer. So I'm going to start with a file, new, go to a new document, and then I'm going to go file, import. I'm going to go to my third patch in the request, go ahead and import, hit the enter key to center it. Now this one is a, a little bit more uh, uh, angled and has a little more to it. Uh, it is not going to be a symmetrical patch. Uh, the one thing though that I want to make sure of is that I do have this particular patch straight. So I usually just go ahead and put in a construction line across uh, a line or across an area so I can determine whether or not the patch or, or the object is straight. As you can see, in this case, when I zoom in, I'm not quite the same distance here as I am here. Again, patches aren't necessarily always going to be symmetrical, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate this uh, maybe one degree. That looks a little bit closer to what we need, uh, so we'll go ahead and outline this one. Uh, this one, again, is only just simple, basic, uh, straight lines, not too much uh, of a curve. There might be a slight curve in the top of that, but uh, we're going to go ahead and go to View, Wireframe, and then I'll start my drawing. So two-point line, I'm going to start here, zoom in, let's start right at the patch here. We're going to go away from the fray. We're going to go along the dark edges of the patch. <coughs> Bring this in, zoom out a little bit with my wheel, zoom into where I'm going to draw the next point, come over here, outline that, look to the next line. Again, I'm not going to go off the frayed portion of the patch. Oops, I accidentally clicked on the, the object and sized it, but click, hold. Um, as you can see, when I'm hovering my mouse over the control point, the cursor below, or the cur below, you'll see a curved uh, angled uh, arrow. That means that it's going to connect automatically. Okay. And I don't have to go back and do any closing of the object. If I didn't have a closed line and I just drew, or a down arrow, and I just clicked and started drawing, the object would be closed. Again, there's a little bit of a possible a curve there, but we're going to be so close that I'm just going to give it a straight line. Oops, mixed it up again, undo. I want to draw get to my curve there, or my down arrow. Bring that over. And as mentioned most patches are not symmetrical so we'll just follow the path of what we've got to work with and this will be close enough for most anything that we do if we wanted to get really critical you know we'd have to start with an object that's completely symmetrical and as we know most objects are not necessarily mirrored or symmetrical to each side. Okay, so I missed that one, so you can see that it's not going to be closed, so I'm going to undo. Let's go back to where I left off. Go my cursor with a down arrow, drag and drop, and then now we can move this piece out. I'm going to file, save as patch number three. Save. And then this size was actually four inches wide by five and a quarter. So we're just going to go to our lock ratio, make sure it's locked. And we're going to go four inches wide. And it's almost a quarter. It's more closer to uh, an eighth, but uh, I think it's going to be close enough. So file, export, we'll call it patch number 
three. Save or export. Click OK. Now I'm going to minimize the Valiant or the Create software or the Corel software. We'll go to Insert Clip Art. Let's go to patch number three. Oh, I left my line in there. Okay, so that means I need to cancel. Let's go back to uh, Corel Draw. And let's go ahead and delete that line out. And then File, Save. Save as, yes. File, Export. Export, yes. Okay. Okay, now the design, I'm going to go back into Create, go into Insert Clip Art, and my third patch with the outline, click OK. And now at this point, again, this is the exact same size as the patch, so you may want to make a contour. Let's go an eighth of an inch, so 0.125. I'm going to go ahead and put on Layer 2, click OK. Go ahead and delete the original size. Change that uh, with a contour. Let's go quarter inch, layer three, okay. And let's do a normal cut on it and a reverse cut on the first object. And that will complete uh, outlining the three different patches that we have and uh, should hopefully help you out with uh, doing the designs in the future. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you. Thank you.